Hello and welcome so much to our service today. This is Hope Church Lovington and our vision is to be a vibrant and passionate church that is changing the world for Christ, including children. So today I want to welcome you to our children's service. If it's your first time, please let us know it's your first time. Send us a message to the number you're seeing on the screen or write in the comment section on whether it's YouTube or Facebook. And today I have two of my friends, ah, very good friends, and uh, we are going to do the lesson together, and I'll ask them to introduce themselves. Nianza uh, said Gani. Let me start with on this side, on my right. So tell us, what's your name? My name is Jewel. Jewel. How old are you, Jewel? Six. You're six years. What's your favorite Bible story? Noah. The story of Noah. Ah, good. The story of Noah. And now to my right, left. I'm confusing. My name is Jason and I'm nine years old. Okay. My favorite story is Adam and Eve. The story of Adam and Eve. The yeah. first story. <laughs> Good. And who likes chasing the other? We were talking before we began. Who likes chasing the other at home? Because I know your sisters. <laughs> oh, you're the one. Uh, yeah. So, Jewel, next time when you finish here, make sure you chase him <laughs> and you catch him. <laughs> so, welcome. We've been learning about the prophets, and uh, we learned about prophet Jonah, we learned about prophet Elisha. Today we are going to learn about prophet who? Daniel. Daniel. So let me read the Bible story, and then we continue with the two things which we want you to learn today. I'm reading from the book of Daniel, chapter 6. I will read from verse 16 to verse 21. So listen. So the king gave an order, and they brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, May your God, whom you serve continually, rescue you. A stone was brought and placed over the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet ring and with the rings of his nobles so that Daniel's situation may not be changed. Then the king returned to his palace and spent the night without eating and without any entertainment being brought to him, and he could not sleep. At the first light of dawn, the king got up and hurried to the lion's den. When he came near the den, he called to Daniel in an anguished voice, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to rescue you from the lions? Daniel answered, May the king live forever. My God sent his angel and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me because I was found innocent in his sight. Nor have I ever done any wrong before you, your majesty. Now, that's the Bible story, a very interesting story. Imagine being thrown into the lion's den. Will you be scared? Yeah. I would be scared. And you? Unless I pray to God. Unless you pray to God, the way Daniel did. Now, listen to the two things which we are going to teach you today. One, do not compromise. Let's say it again. Do, do not, not compromise. compromise. Daniel was told to stop praying so that everybody could pray to the king. The name of the king was King Darius. And they came up with a story. The people, they did not like Daniel. And they said, King, let nobody pray to any other god except to you. But Daniel did not compromise. He did not do the wrong thing. Have you ever been told to do the wrong thing? No. By someone, like a friend, he tells you to do something which you're not supposed to do. No. No. Okay. But sometimes people will tell us to do things which we are not supposed to do. Like, don't go home at 6 o'clock and your parent is expecting you home at 6 o'clock. Do not eat sweets, yet your parent told you not to eat sweets, but your friend is telling you to eat sweets. Yeah, yeah now that is wrong. So, do not compromise. Always do the right thing. Just the way Daniel did the right thing when they were told not to pray. But Daniel chose to pray. So the second thing which we are going to teach you today is 
Let's lift it up. Remain in God. Okay, let's say it again. Remain, Remain in God. God. What helped Daniel not to compromise was because he loved God. He always prayed together with his friends. So he always remained in God. He kept doing the things that God wants him to do. So how do we remain in God? By reading the Bible and by praying. So what are the two things we've learned today? Let's, say them, let's show the people again. Let's show them again. The first one was, are you ready? Let's show them again. Do not compromise. Let's show them again. Do, Do not, not compromise. compromise. And then the second one, we are telling them to do what? Let's get them ready. Let's lift them a bit higher. Remain in God. Re again, remain in God. So, children, everybody who has heard us today from the story of Daniel, we are being reminded to always remain in God and not to compromise when we are faced with an opportunity to do the wrong thing. Let us always do that which will please God. Amen? Amen. 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 So let us pray, children. Uh, Jason and Joel, let's close our eyes. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for reminding us a wonderful lesson from the story of Prophet Daniel that we need to remain in you because when we remain in you, we will not compromise. When bad things come, when we are told to do the wrong things, we will always find strength to remain standing. So we pray that you'll bless us and help us to always re remain in you and to remain faithful. We ask and pray this, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we've come to the end of our lesson. Jewel, thank you. Jason, thank you. Will you do this again? Will you come again? Yeah. You've enjoyed yourself? Yeah. Good. So even as you go back to school this week, may God be with you as you open a new term and always trust in the Lord. So let's tell everybody bye-bye. Let's wave at the cameras and say bye. 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 bye.